What's up guys, welcome back to another video, I'm Dean aka The Blue Crusader and today we're going to be doing another lore video, but rather than Star Wars today we're going to be doing a Skyrim lore video, more importantly Skyrim Vampire lore, as we read one of the tales, the chilling vampire tale from a book in Skyrim known as Immortal Blood. The moons and stars were hidden from sight, making that particularly quiet night especially dark. The town guard had to carry torches to make their rounds, but the man who came to call at my chapel carried no light with him. I came to learn that Movarth Pekin could see in the dark almost as well as the light, an excellent talent considering his interests were exclusively nocturnal. One of my acolytes brought him to me, and from the look of him, I at first thought he was in need of healing. He was pale, to the point of opalescence, with a face that looked like it had once been very handsome before some unspeakable suffering. The dark circles under his eyes bespoke exhaustion, but the eyes themselves were alert, intense, almost insane. He quickly dismissed my notion that he himself was ill, although he did not want to discuss a specific disease. Vampirism, he said, and then paused at my quizzical look. I was told that you were someone I should seek out for help understanding it. Who told you that? I asked with a smile. Tissina Gray. I immediately remembered her, a brave beautiful knight who had needed my assistance separating fact from fiction on the subject of the vampire. It had been two years and I had never heard whether my advice had proven effective. You've spoken to her? How is her ladyship? I asked. Dead, Movarth replied coldly, and then, responding to my shock, he added to perhaps soften the blow. She said your advice was invaluable, at least for the one vampire. When last I talked to her she was tracking another, and it killed her. Then the advice I gave her was not enough, I sighed. Why do you think it would be enough for you? I was a teacher once myself years ago, he said. Not in university, a trainer in the fighters guild. But I know that if a student doesn't ask the right questions, the teacher cannot be responsible for his failure. I intend to ask you the right questions. And that he did. For hours he asked questions and I answered what I could, but he never volunteered any information about himself. He never smiled, he only stood in me with those intense eyes of his, committing every word I said to memory. Finally I turned the question around. You said you were a trainer at the Fighters Guild, are you on an assignment for them? No, he said, curtly, and finally I could detect some weakness and wariness in those feverish eyes of his. I would like to continue this tomorrow night if I could. I need to get some sleep and absorb this. You sleep during the day? I smiled. To my surprise he returned the smile, though it was more of a grimace. When tracking your prey, you adapt their habits. The next day he did return with more questions, these ones very specific. He wanted to know about the vampires of Eastern Skyrim. I told him about the most powerful tribe, the Volkihar clan, paranoid and cruel, whose very breath could freeze their victims blood in the veins. I explained to him how they lived beneath the ice of the remote and haunted lakes, never venturing into the world of men except to feed. Movarth Pekin listened carefully, and asked more questions into the night, until at last he was ready to leave. I will not see you for a few days, he said, but I will return and tell you how helpful your information has been. True to his word, the man returned to my chapel shortly after midnight four days later. There was a fresh scar on his cheek, but he was smiling, that grim but satisfied smile of his. Your advice helped me very much, he said, but you should know that the Volcar have an additional ability you didn't mention. They can reach through the ice of their lakes without breaking it. It was quite a nasty surprise, being grabbed from below without any warning. How remarkable, I said with a laugh, and terrifying. You're lucky you survived. I don't believe in luck. I believe in knowledge and training. Your information helped me, and my skill at melee combat sealed the bloodsucker's fate. I've never believed in weaponry of any kind. Too many unknowns. Even the best swordsmith has created a flawed blade, but you know what your body is capable of. I know I can lend a thousand blows without losing my balance, provided that I get the first strike. The first strike, I murmured. So you must never be surprised. That is why I came to you, said Novar. You know more than anyone alive about these monsters, in all their cursed varieties across the land. Now you must tell me about the vampires of Northern Valenwood. I did as he asked, and once again his questions taxed my knowledge. There were many tribes to cover, 
the Bonsamu, who were indistinguishable from Bosma, except when they were seen by candlelight, the Kielf, who could disintegrate into mist, the Yekef, who swallowed men whole, the Dread Telboff, who preyed on children, eventually taking their place in the family, waiting patiently for years before murdering them all in their unnatural hunger. Once again, he bowed me farewell, promising to return in a few weeks, and once again he returned as he said, just after midnight. This time Movarth had no fresh scars, but he again had new information. You were wrong about the Kirilf being unable to vaporise when pushed underwater, he said, patting my shoulder fondly. Fortunately they cannot travel far in their mist form and I was able to track it down. It must have surprised it fearfully. Your field knowledge is becoming impressive, I said. I should have had an acolyte like you decades ago. Now tell me, he said, of the vampires of Cyrodiil. I told him what I could. There was but one tribe of Cyrodiil vampires, a powerful clan who had ousted all other competitors, much like the Imperials themselves had done. Their true name was unknown, lost in history, but they were experts at concealment. If they kept themselves well fed, they were indistinguishable from living persons. They were cultured, more civilised than the vampires of other provinces, preferring to feed on victims whilst they were asleep, unaware. It will be difficult to surprise, Movarth frowned, but I will seek one out and tell you what I have learned. And then, you will tell me of the vampires of High Rock, and Hammerfell, and elsewhere, and Black Marsh, and Morrowind, and the Somerset Isles, yes? I nodded, knowing then that this was a man on an eternal quest. He wouldn't be satisfied with but the barest hint of how things were, he needed to know it all. He did not return for a month, and on the night that he did I could see his frustration and despair, though there were no lights burning in my chapel. I failed, he said as I lit a candle. You were right, I could not find a single one. I brought the light up to my face and smiled. He was surprised, even stunned by the pallor of my flesh, the dark hunger in my ageless eyes and the teeth. Oh yes, I think the teeth definitely surprised the man who could not afford to be surprised. I haven't fed in 72 hours, I explained as I fell on him. He did not land the first blow, or the last. And that is the story of immortal blood, the lore of the vampires in Skyrim, and the Elder Scrolls. This is perhaps one of the most interesting books you can find in game and there are actually quite a few different stories which are really interesting to read and that you can find in various locations. I found this one to be perhaps one of the most interesting because it does talk about some of the deeper lore of the Skyrim vampires which do appear in every single game so it is really interesting to learn about each of them and the different clans of the certain provinces in the game. So if you guys enjoyed this story, if you want to read more stories in the game or maybe even do more lore videos on things like vampires Skyrim werewolves, different clans and city guards, or maybe specific characters in the actual storyline, then do not be afraid to leave comment suggestions below. So thanks all for watching, like the video and subscribe for daily gaming videos and lore and fact videos on the channel, and I'll see you next time.